Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from the AlignLemma.com. We have another flamboyant and natural video for you today. I was setting out to do a soft dramatic video, but studying Yasmin, I became convinced that she resonated more with flamboyant and natural, and I will explain my reasoning in this video. So sorry, soft dramatics. I will definitely get to you in the next video. I also want to touch upon comparison between kibby based recommendations versus conventional body shape recommendations in terms of Yasmin being an hourglass or having a very, very exaggerated or emphasized hourglass, especially throughout her runway career. I initially believe that Yasmin was some sort of dramatic because I only saw photos of her on the runway, highly stylized, wearing very diva chic friendly clothing and makeup and jewelry. The big polished hair, the very feline smoked out and glossy contoured makeup, the big bold jewelry, the intricate shapes, and the very clinging sweeps of lace and flared pleats and these very diva chic friendly items. But I didn't look closer and I didn't study what she looked like without all of this styling so I had just assumed her to be some soft dramatic. I got to googling more on Yasmin and I found these two photos on the bottom. I believe they are photos of her post modeling career so I think that she is styling herself. I think that these items of clothing are what she has chosen for herself, though I can only assume she lives a very private life out of the spotlight now, so I couldn't really find anything super current about her. But I do think these two big bold prints and more loose free fits really suit her, and her minimal but fresh makeup is also super accommodating on her. On top, we have a little screenshot from a documentary on YouTube uploaded by GeoCurve called Model Documentary, Yasmin Gowry, and it is so illuminating. You get to see a lot of her personality. So I would describe Yasmin's personality or vibe or the persona she gives off as very calm but direct relaxed, grounded, and earthy, but very fresh, very calmly and gently charismatic. I don't see that diva chic kind of sassy, slightly exaggerated, more magnetic kind of presence in her. I think her presence is very much in line with many other flamboyant naturals. Besides looking at her face and her personal style and her vibe, I also looked at her body and what became more obvious to me was the dominance of elongated broadness, these broad, robust, wider spans of her frame. And I don't think that she is someone who possesses a traumatic frame with that more narrow angularity, that sharpness, more of a streamlined, contained, sleeker look. Her frame is more expansive and robust. I do believe she has a natural frame, and I think her flesh is young, dominant. She has that sleekness and slight muscularity to her frame. So unlike a soft dramatic who has a yin-dominated flesh, she is far from being very round and soft and curvaceous and fleshy. She is quite young. So that being said, there is still the question of whether to hourglass or not to hourglass. Because Yasmin's waist is so unique, she has such a tiny waist, it's hard not to show it off with any kind of tapering or even semi Form fitting outfit. I think that a relaxed approach to showing off her waist and her more angular contours is very much in line with a free, unconstrained, and uncluttered 
flamboyant, natural, friendly kind of aesthetic or guideline. But when she or others give her a little too much emphasis or exaggeration on her hourglass, it becomes quite constrained and artificial looking. Yasmin doesn't even need waist emphasis to look amazing, even without really tapering at the waist or outlining the waist. She can pull off beautifully these items that dominate or emphasize the vertical and the horizontal and the diagonal. These broad, sweeping outfits and items are very becoming on her because she has that amazing supermodel flamboyant natural frame to pull it off to not get lost in it to really make the most of that fabric and show off how it moves and kind of take it to the extremes whereas someone very small and tiny and curvaceous would get very lost in all of that fabric and all of those broad sweeps. Another little note on Yasmin's silhouettes and her, I guess, more ideal aesthetic is that she looks better in more streamlined and sporty details and items as opposed to anything more artful and delicate that can look a little bit overbearing or cluttered on the flamboyant natural. Flamboyant naturals look great in bold and decisive items because they are dominated by yang but without going into very tailored rigid and severe territory so there has to be some sense of relaxation to it it can't be extremely extremely sleek and rigid because that's how it will look on them it doesn't blossom on them the way it blossoms on, say, a pure dramatic rigidity is not something that they look the best in. So here on the left, she has these beautiful, streamlined, simple, athletic swimwear pieces. And here on the right, these swimwear pieces are very delicate. There's a lot going on. There's little bits of ornamentation and detail, and they kind of just pile up and look a little constraining on her and even looking at the hairstyles that they've put on her on the runway these are a little bit too stylized there's too many little intricate waves too much calculated shaping going on she looks better in very decisive clean almost nonchalant sweeps of hair so here is an example or two examples of forcing the hourglass shape or just flowing with the natural curvature or contours of her body. So on the left, very, very exaggerated outfits. The shoulders are extremely widened in comparison to the waist that almost takes on a corseted effect. Very, very tight and clingy all throughout a lot of sharp narrow little angles and here these two dresses just flow with the outline of her torso so they don't look as forced they don't look as constraining they're not trying to impose an exaggerated shape on her body they're just really following the lead of her silhouette so if you are a flamboyant natural take a bit of comfort in knowing that you look amazing when you're not trying too hard to outline your body. You just let your body with all of its structure inform the clothing because it will win. Here are two more side-by-side -side comparisons of outfits that exaggerate this hourglass idea and outfits that show off her shape more as it actually is so here on the left with these two outfits you're getting the same kind of outfit concept a crop top with low rise bottoms on the very left again the shoulders are given the illusion of being extremely wide so that the waist looks even smaller 
and this little curve at the top of it pans also creates the illusion of a smaller waist. On the right, you have a more organically formed outfit that just follows the shape of your body. It's not trying to trick the eye. It's not trying to exaggerate anything. And I think you can appreciate the elongation of her body, the elongation throughout her rib cage that creates such a small waist because you have all of this height and all of this width and all of this tapering. And that's kind of hidden when you exaggerate a kind of imposed shoulder shape a little bit too much. Now the right side of this comparison with these two outfits featuring a high-waisted bandage skirt and a very form-fitting tee. Again, we're seeing clutter versus a lack of clutter, a very additive kind of outfit versus an outfit that is more simple and just lets her body do the talking. So here with the choker, the Peter Pan collar, and the little hearts, you're getting a lot of shape being imposed upon her and especially with these little panels across the skirt. Again, a lot of visual shapes being imposed upon her. Whereas on the right, it's simple. It's a nice, open, wider v-neck, not ridiculously narrow like a lot of the other ones, and a simple skirt. It has a sense of openness too because it's shorter and it's not as tight around the knees as this one. I think this one just suits her so much more in terms of simpleness and freedom. And lastly, I just wanted to show these photos of Yasmin in more heavy natural material. She is not at all overwhelmed by these bigger, more lush, heavy materials. The fur, the suede, the leather, it really, really shines on her. And that makes me think of the Artemis archetype. If you've ever read the book, Goddesses and Every Woman by Jean Shinoda Bolan, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. It is so illuminating and interesting, and it's written by someone who definitely knows what she is talking about. So to sum up the Artemis archetype, Artemis is a virgin goddess in that she was not abducted or raped. She was not forced into marriage, and she really kept a sense of wholeness and intactness of herself. She was not being imposed upon, and she didn't mold herself around someone else. So she's very, very individualistic and makes her own choices. She is also the huntress, and she is the goddess of the moon and the wilderness and she protects young women and youth. She is a very goal-oriented archetype as well. So I think that Yasmin embodies this archetype with her beauty. She does have that very strong, very individual, almost wild beauty about her and these kind of furry suede outfits really, really bring that out. I know archetypes don't automatically equate to different aesthetics and style, but I'm really, really fascinated by the possibility of seeing correlations um, in terms of those two fields. And I will be doing a series on archetypes and style, ways to kind of bring out style by observing or calling in, paying more attention to certain patterns or archetypes in your life because I think it's a great way to get to know yourself a little bit more and maybe pull out energies that are needed through different stylistic or aesthetic choices. So that was it for my video. I will be covering soft dramatics in the next video. So I hope this extra flamboyant natural video was a little bit helpful. Um, I know Yasmin Gauri is 
She's so fascinating. She has such a unique beauty to her and she's very mysterious to me also. So it was fun to research a little bit on her. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.